Welcome back to the Subspace Emissary. How long do we have? Um, uh, what? I don't know. <laughs> okay, this this cutscene confused me so much because I didn't know what um the Mother series was. I just knew from uh, reading like bios and whatnot that Lucas was from a series called Mother. Mm -hmm. So I just always assumed it was him moping because his mom was dead or something. Which, I was right, but I didn't know that I was right. <laughs> Nowadays, Mother 3 still tears my heart out, but whatever. I've yet to play any of the stuff from that series. Um, Johnny's reviews were the way I followed him, where it's like, he thought Earthbound, like the uh, Earthbound Beginnings, was really dated. Oh uh, yeah. Earthbound, he yeah. could see where it has its fans, but he felt it had suffered from a lot of the same problems as uh, Earthbound Beginnings. And then Mother Three completely destroyed him, and he loved it. On top of the battle system, he really liked in both Earthbound and Three. Yeah. <laughs> Quote him: "This is it. <laughs> Mother Three is the one." Took him three games to get into one, though. Well, I mean, I think that's and what most Earthbound fans are. Because it's it's always it's always the third one people regard as the best. Because it's like the only one that's really well designed. The statue's feet clip into the ground a little bit. I just noticed. Yeah, it does. How did I never notice that? On <laughs> slopes, it's only on slopes because they didn't uh, design a slope animation apparently. No. <laughs> Same reason his head is in. going through the ceiling. Yeah, clipping through the ceiling, well, and they only yeah, added dust particles. The head are having the look like he's breaking through the entire thing, but still. But you can very clearly see the clipping. Yeah, but at least they try to disguise it. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Ah, uh, let's all go home. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> God darn it. Anyway, Sunset, you were saying you didn't remember that many auto scrolling sections? Here's one. <laughs> yep. Put up a little ding for two auto scrollers at least. Yeah, Maybe right. three. Ding. <laughs> but yeah, so at least at least DK got a full level for you to try him out in. Ness only gets this boss fight, and then he's absent until, like, the gets... end. Yeah, and then he gets trophy uh, by Wario. Yep. And it especially stings, because, you know, Ness isn't uh, a default character in this one. Lucas no. is, but you gotta unlock Ness, just like you did in 64. Uh. They, were, they were trying to advertise Mother 3... You know, that game that never got released outside Japan. So, hey kids, you like this game? Too yeah. bad! Aww. Hey kids, you like... You uh, you want to try out uh, Earthbound 1? Uh, or no, no, not Earthbound 1, but you know... Earthbound, get it while you can, because in a month or so, at the time of us recording this, you won't be able to get it on the Wii U Virtual Console. Nope. Not with a credit because card, they, anyway. <laughs> they announced that... Uh, but they announced that port of Earthbound and Beginnings and Earthbound for Switch. Oh, did they? And then they, yeah, they did. They announced like a like a compilation uh, at the last direct, and they teased so hard with Mother Three. Like, so the way they did it was that they did it in three parts, where um, they showed off the original Earthbound Beginnings. And they explain like what the that they'd be porting it to the switch and everything, and oh, you got shield broken. Um, and then got his ass handed to him. Yep. Yeah. Porky does that. But anyway, it like showed off Earthbound beginnings, then it faded to black, and faded back in with Earthbound, and then it showed off like saying you'll be able to play Earthbound and Earthbound beginnings on this one copy. Um. And then it faded to black like it was going to do the same thing for Mother 3. And then it moved on to the next trailer. 
everyone was angry. What a dick move. So you could <laughs> say everything but the one you like. I like to think that was the I like the uh the spirit of Reggie. Just going, no. Yeah. Don't let him have yet. it yet. <laughs> wait, wait till the, for it. Wait till the Switch Pro to surprise him with a re with like a full remake. Yeah, right? That would be something. <laughs> Goodbye. Wipe that smile off your face. Mario gets the He's... most voice work. He's yeah. like, yeah, this is Max's second game that we're commentating over that has me in it. Ha ha ha. I'm two for two, baby. And now, Pokemon. Pokemon Trainer was just right over here. Like, you could have helped. Yeah, you could have helped. You could have saved an S. Get it. It's like you didn't hear all that laughing. Yeah, right? Or the firing of the gun. Well, why would he? He's too busy looking for his Pokemon. Oh, yeah, that's right. You do have to find the other Pokemon yep, in subspace. You just have Squirtle right now. Yeah. Yeah, Squirtle's okay. Not my favorite. Well, no, because everyone played Charizard in Brawl, which is why they put Charizard in 4 and none of the others for some <laughs> reason. They actually gave him a down special, which didn't come back for Ultimate. <laughs> yep. Alright, if the Pokemon trainer can teleport all over the place, why can't he just teleport us with him? Teleport straight to Taboo and kick his ass. <laughs> yeah, get him, Pokemon trainer. That'd be the end of the game right then and there. Never even have to set foot in the Great Maze. Sonic would be too slow at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, you beat me to it. I was supposed to be the fastest, but I couldn't even save my friend. <laughs> That's from Lost World, right? Yes. Yeah. When Tails, like... You know, yeah. I'm just gonna say, Tails gets roboticized. Not even then. It's when he's captured in the, in the forest. Yeah, yeah, like they plan to roboticize him. Yes, I'm yeah. using the Archie Comics term. I mean, it's it's not wrong. No. Yeah. Kind of wish it did. That would have been interesting. Yeah. These wannabe uh, electrodes here. Yeah, wannabe electrodes that duplicate because yeah. you, got, you didn't have a hard enough time already. But they're called bite whatever the fuck. Yeah, bite Bi bitens, bite hands, B tens, CD, CD. What did you unlock? What did I unlock? Uh, we'll see at the end of the level, I think. But um, what was I gonna say? Shoot, I had something. We were talking about uh, Sonic Lost World in Archie Comics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in Lost World. It... I'm the one recording that one, right? No, I'm doing both versions for us. I got you. Just like I am colors. I thought you asked me to do the Wii U version at one point. I don't even remember. Let's see if I can pull up the list. Where the hell's the chat? Ah, there it is. <laughs> so did we pin this? Oh yeah. Uh, Lucas's up smash is pretty busted. Yeah. And I remembered what I was gonna say. Because I'm playing on easy, all the enemies are, uh, you know, puny. They go down and <laughs> they go down and uh, not not many hits at all. Harder difficulties just make them super spongy. On top of hitting for like 40 or 50. 
if not more. Here's the list. Uh, apparently, boss. That was will... Corneria. Song I unlocked. Well, it doesn't say on here that you, d either of us, took Lost World Wii U hmm. or 3DS. But I think it's quite obvious I'm doing 3DS since I'm dealing here with the capture card. I don't even own a 3DS, so. I actually got normal DS emulation working recently. Oh, nice. So that's nice. Cool. So let's see. Like, you uh, couldn't, couldn't get it working? <laughs> the nukes have been planted. No, I, I couldn't. Whenever I tried to emulate DS, I couldn't get it working for some reason. Hmm. Which is funny, because I'd love to emulate, um, like, games that I have, but I just can't play because I don't have my DS anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I have Sonic Colors DS, but I can't play it. Same with, Re uh, same with Chain of Memories on Game Boy. I mean, Game Boy Advance I, is pretty easy to emulate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Marth, I still don't know who you are. Or, I partly know, and I wish I didn't. It's one of the most hated characters in Smash Bros, just because of where he comes from. Exactly. Like, I know Three Houses was pretty popular, all things considered, but, like, Fire Emblem's still kind of a niche series. Also, there's just... Yeah, there's too many Fire Emblem characters in Smash. Honestly, there are. At this point. Well, it's not that there's too many, it's that... Most I mean, of them play the same. I mean, you can say Mario has a lot of characters too, but you know, Mario yeah, plays different from Bowser, different. so there's Mario more variation. Mario plays different from Bowser, who plays different from Peach, who plays different from Yoshi, and Wario, and all them. Yeah, with the Fire Emblem characters, is that if you're not a Marth clone, you're a Ike clone. Yeah. If you're not a Marth clone, what? Sorry. I you're an cough. Ike clone. Oh, Ike and clone. And then you're yeah. Byleth and Robin. Like, Byleth and Robin are creative, but Byleth suffers because they were the 8th Fire Emblem character introduced. And yeah. most people don't like Fire Emblem. And also, it should have been Dante. Just saying. It should have been Dante, yeah. It should have yeah. been Shante. <laughs> I would have taken Shante. that, too. <laughs> yeah, I would have I would have accepted Shante. I mean, all things considered, even though, you know, Fire Emblem is, um... You know, it has a little bit of oversaturation and ultimate... I can't say I, I can't say I hate how they play. You know, they're still fine characters. Yeah, I was gonna say neutral B, Max. Neutral B. <laughs> neutral B. <laughs> but I'm gonna say you have a little trouble there, aren't you? I actually I do know how to play Marth a little bit, because I would have friends over and I would just beat them so hard I would try out characters I've never played before. Oh yeah. Which led me to play Marth for like a match or two, so I know that neutral B is series of pokes. Most I get out of him is having to play him for unlocking everyone. Oh wait, neutral B. Uh, don't you mean side B? Uh, side B is the one that combos. Uh, n uh, neutral B is the one that charges. Right, neutral B is the poke and side B is the series of slashes. Yeah. And now, Meta Knight. Meta Knight was one I actually didn't know but was far more interested to learn about than Marth. And lo and behold, now I'm a Kirby fan. So I guess that means you're playing all of them for us. Uh, no. Because I don't have Kirby games. <laughs> Not anymore, anyway. I never I... owned a 3DS, so I didn't play any of the 3DS lineup, and the way I played... Uh, I sold my Wii, so... Hmm. I refuse to sell consoles. The only one I ever did was sell was the Sega Genesis, and that is only because when I got it, I did not have any cords to actually use it, so I was like, fuck it. You get those dirt cheap. I bought a Wii U without a gamepad and was able to find a gamepad eventually. I just used my roommate's gamepad in the meantime. I just didn't know where to look for the cords, and I just did not care at that point, because the only games I was going to play were Sonic 1 and 2. 
Not even three? Sonic and Knuckles. Because that was... Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that, I didn't have three. Oh. I had a big stack of games, and the only ones I was ever going to play was one, two, and Knuckles. Because that was all I had. I'm excited for that Sonic Origins collection to come out. Oh, yeah. I'm really excited Same. for that Origins collection to come out. Especially because it's all the Christian Whitehead ports. Yeah, it's all the Taxman versions. And they're finally doing Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yeah, I guess that's Finally. a good reason to wait for doing Three and Knuckles. Yeah, I I really hope they somehow include the original soundtrack. I know they won't, but I hope they find a way. Because they got the Japanese soundtrack for CD. Yeah. But I think that was a different reason entirely. Yeah. You don't think they'll get Three and K's original music back? The Michael Jackson cuts? Probably not. I mean, they made it to the Steam release. And that was like 2012. So. Oh, Three and Knuckles? Yeah. Yeah, they oh. didn't replace the tracks there. They still have... Still have, uh... I, you know, Ice Cap, Carnival Night, Launch Base. They don't have, um... They don't have Stranger in Moscow for the credits, but that was only... That was Sonic 3 standalone, so... But does this now mean when Origins comes out, you're going to redo Sonic 1 and 2? Um, I think I'll keep Sonic 1 the way it is, just because that's the original Genesis version, and I want some Genesis representation. But yeah. um, I might redo 2. Maybe actually get all the Chaos Emeralds this time, if I can. Yeah. Oh boy, even more auto-scrolling. Yeah, we're not kidding when we say they do this all the time. And it sucks every single time. Well, it could be worse. It could be Sonic Forces auto-scrolling level. <laughs> I forgot Sonic Forces had an auto-scrolling level, but I also never played Forces. I didn't think that level was that bad, but I also enjoyed the music, so maybe that uh, took some of the edge I... off. Personally, I think Mario 3's is the worst auto-scrolling I've ever done, because you're having to do precise platforming while the camera's scrolling with you, so you can't, like... So, like, all the airship levels are way harder than they need to be. I can kind of no. see that. Oh, the hammer. I want that hammer. That hammer was one week away from retirement. What do I care? It's a hammer. <laughs> wow, what a tool. What a tool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> still got it, boys. Still got it. Ah, great. Uh, flying octopus swordsman. At least I think they're octopuses. Sort of a worthy opponent for Meta Knight. True. Hmm. Hey, they're giving him a run for his money right now. Yeah, I could use some of that money. Why don't you just let me run after the money? Yeah, right. <laughs> run for money? Easy. <laughs> just point where I should run. That random It'll cave section. That I asked up. Cave section in a desert level. And now a minecart section. Yeah, this is actually the most creative. Wow. Okay then. <laughs> uh, this is the most creative I've ever seen a desert level get. Okay, I can't have been the only one who thought these like trophy things were super cool, right? Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a neat idea. Right. Turning the enemies into trophies, you know, with uh, precise aiming. Getting it yeah, for bosses though is pretty tough though. Because you're relying on RNG for the drop. Yeah, for the item drop. Yeah. And to get the boss's health low enough so that way when you actually get the trophy, you can kill. Yep. For that reason, I. Bosses aren't an instant kill with the trophy like enemies are. Mm hmm. For that reason, I would not recommend doing it on intense. <laughs> yeah. I still do not have the trophy for doing boss battles mode on intense. I wouldn't blame you. Hell, 
I don't think I have the boss or the trophy or anything for doing boss battle, period. Oh, boss battles mode, you mean? Not. Yeah. I just could not get into that mode. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Look, Meta <laughs> okay, I never noticed that. Meta Knight's wing is on fire. <laughs> Which is also his cape, I guess. I thought, okay, I may not have clicked with Marth, but I thought Ike was the coolest. Could be the fact that I just adore his sword design. Hmm. Theme I'm is really good, for, too. Yeah, I'm a sucker for broad swords with, like, flayed tips at the ends. That are so big that you should be wielding them with two hands, but he's not. Because he's just that strong. It's the same reason why I like Rebellion so much. Yeah. So now I gotta go, what's Fierce Deity's Link's excuse for not being able to hold his sword with one hand? Uh, well, because Fierce Deity is just Adult Link, yeah? No, he's a little bit bigger than Adult Link. And he is a god at that point. Well, maybe his sword was meant to be heavy for gods. I don't know that. <laughs> I do not remember these Nana Gog enemies at all. Naga Gog. Uh, I do. <laughs> I remember them. I don't. If you're quick enough, you can actually kill them before they get to be their biggest size. Yeah, I understand that's the point. But it's like, I just don't remember them, period. <clears throat> See, Sonic Guru is gonna do. A ranks for Sonic Heroes. Okay, I don't care. Yeah. M goes reviewing Transformer. What else is Luigi? <laughs> Just some Luigi. <laughs> oh come on, dude! It's a Waddle D. It's a Waddle. Yep. This oh, is post Luigi's okay. Mansion. <laughs> yeah. We did way tougher Luigi. stuff in that game. <laughs> yeah. This is the most be... menacing King Dedede will ever be. <laughs> also, that's King a peace Dedede. sign on his... That's a peace sign on his, uh... Robe. Is it? I thought it was bunny ears the whole time. <laughs> yeah, it's a peace sign. With his, like, penguin fingers. Hmm. But, yeah, hold on. Why didn't Dedede take Luigi trophy? Oh no, there he, he goes. He is, he, he's, he was waiting in yeah, the shadows. <laughs> yeah. He's got his own agenda. Yes. His ag own agenda of being... I don't know. Of being D to D. <laughs> yeah. Hurry up! <laughs> <laughs> Just pull out your motorcycle and go after him. Yeah, why didn't he pull it out? Don't know. He only he only ever uses his motorcycle on the Great Maze stairway. I just realized that. He just pulls it out of nowhere. He left it at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but then oh, how I did forgot he get it for the Great list. Maze? Well, because he went home. No, he didn't. No, he got he trophied. <laughs> he went home while he was trophied. <laughs> <laughs> when he just hopped. <laughs> yeah. Like you just hear the you just hear like a uh, granite sliding on the floor as he gets to home, <laughs> wipes his keys and slides back in time for the next cutscene. We'll see y'all for part four.